Hi guys, welcome to Women in Aviation. Um, this is gonna be our intro to our story and vocabulary for Lit Survey 11. So our desired results are to read, summarize, and analyze uh, the informational text, which will be Women in Aviation by Patricia and Frederick McKissack. As we read, we should be paying attention to the details that describe what it was like for a woman to become a pilot during this period. I wanna think about what obstacles each pilot faced and think about any questions you have as you read the story. So in the early 1900s, flying aeroplanes, fixed wings, self-propelled propelled flying machines was a bold undertaking. Male pilots were dashing heroes. However, female aviators, especially African-American women, had to struggle for acceptance. Frederick and Patricia McKissick whoops, um, had uh, have written over 100 biographies or nonfiction books, most focusing on the achievements of African-American women. So we're gonna be thinking about author's purpose as we write. So we wanna think about if the author is trying to inform or explain something. We can see encyclopedia entries or informational articles and other factual real world examples to persuade, which can be editorials, opinion essays, blogs, or advertisements to entertain, which is when we have short stories, plays, essays, humor, suspense, or to express thoughts and feelings in personal essays, poems, or journals. To determine the author's purpose in an informational text, examine the facts and quotations. An author may have a main purpose for writing as well as other purposes. For example, Women in Aviation provides facts, so it was written mainly to inform. But the authors have other purposes too, and those are revealed by their word choices and their examples. So we can also think about drawing conclusions and text evidence, which is always so important. So drawing a conclusion is making a judgment on a topic and text evidence is information pulled from the text. So in the form of facts and details to help you draw conclusions. So you should look for statements that support your conclusion, consider your own experience and knowledge about the topic and make a judgment based on evidence and your prior knowledge. So for informational text contain details that can use as text evidence. So for example, here's a quote from Women in Aviation that describes Catherine Wright, the sister of famous aviators Orville and Wilbur Wright. When the world speaks of the Wrights, it must include my sister. She inspired so much of our efforts. So she wasn't a pilot. However, based on the text, we can draw the conclusion that she was really important in their achievements and helping them and maybe um, coming up with the idea. So our vocab words this week are inundate, restrictive, exhibition, and precaution. To inundate is to give a huge amount of something. Restrictive is when something is restricted, it's limiting in some way. Precaution is action taken to avoid possible danger. And exhibition is an organized presentation or show. So you will be working um, in your assignment to match the meaning of the vocab word um, and explain your choice in your assignment. And we're going to talk about connotation and denotation. So a word's denotation is its literal dictionary meaning, and a word's connotation comes from the ideas and feelings associated with the word. So the authors of Women in Aviation chose words based on connotation and denotation. Example, on August 1st, 1911, Quimby, who was described as a real beauty with haunting blue-green eyes, strolled off the field after passing her pilot's test easily. Notice how the specific word choice of strolled suggests an easy, confident way of walking. This paints a picture of an accomplished young pilot. Words can have a positive or a negative connotation, and the context of a phrase, sentence, or paragraph can help determine the connotation of a word. So in your assignment today, you will see um, choices where you have to pick best word um, that you think expresses the meaning of the sentence and think about what we just talked about in connotation and denotation. So you'll be completing your L4 Women in Aviation vocabulary and we'll start reading tomorrow.